This week we will be talking about Jesus' false uh, purification of the temple. And Jesus, and the Jewish Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem and found in the temple those who sold ox, sheep, and doves, and the changers of money said. And when he had made a scourge of small cord, he drove them up all out of the temple and the sheep and the ox and pulled out the change of money and over through the tables and said unto them that sold doves, take this thing hence, make not my father's house a house of motion. And the disciples remembered that it was written, the zeal of these house have eaten me up. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign show thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will rise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was the temple in built, and for Sarah ran it up in three days, but he spoke of the temple of his body. When therefore he was rise from the dead, he disciples remembered that he had said these unto them, and they believed the scriptures and the word which Jesus had spoke. Now when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover in the feast days, many believed in him, his name, when they saw miracles which he Jesus, he was God in the flesh. Even him being God in the flesh, he was required to keep the, the Jewish Passover. He was required to attain it, the ordinance of it. Because in Exodus 12 and 14, And this day shall be unto you for our members, and ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generation ye shall keep it a feast by a ordinance forever. Him being in the flesh, him being God Almighty, he was still required to keep the law of Moses, keep his law to absorb. And he found the money changers sitting in the temple <coughs> selling the sheep, doves, and oxen. I can see him being angry about this because it was taken away from his worship. Because God won't have nothing else for you. No. It was a distraction unto the people. Because the house of God is supposed to be a house of prayer. It's supposed to be a house where you can learn of God. And the money changes was taken away from all that. And just being a distraction and stuff, and Jesus had to just put away that distraction from him. The second time it happened was when he came into Jerusalem on a donkey. When he 
was getting ready to be crucified. He was there to present himself as a sacrifice for the whole mankind. Because the only house that he could go to was his father's house to present himself as a sacrifice. And he found the money changes again selling merchandise. And he said, this is Matthew 21, 14. I say unto you then, this is written, my house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye made it den of thieves. He, just like I said before, they was taking stuff from the people, just being unruly and making a distraction from the true worship of God. John, later on in scripture, he was called John the Revelator. He, he dedicated two chapters toward just to, to the church. You find that in John chapter 2, I mean, John, Revelation chapter 2 and Revelation chapter 3 when he's talking about the judgment of the church of Jesus. Well, upon the churches that he found stuff against them. But over in John chapter 4, he's talking to a Samaritan woman. And a Samaritan woman asked him, Are we going to worship in the mountain or are we going to worship in the temple? And this is and Jesus said, neither. But verse chapter 4, 23. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship. When the Jewish people asked him, show me a sign, he said, destroy his temple and I'll rise it up in three days. He was talking about his own body, that he's going to die and be raised again in three days by the Holy Spirit. That he was going to be the temple of God. Revelation 21, 22 says, And I saw no temple therein, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb or the temple of it. He's going to be our high priest. He's going to be our sacrifice for all mankind. Hebrews chapter 4, 14 through 16. 16 that we have a great high priest that is present into the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession, for we have not a high priest which cannot be touched by Feelings or formulas, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that which may attain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. Amen. Him being the temple God, we'll take supposed to take everything to Him, pray unto Him, learn of Him, and just learn of all His ways. The 
same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead will raise you from the dead. Because the same spirit that was in Jesus is in you if you were born again. First Corinthians chapter three sixteen. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you. Second <coughs> Corinthians sixteen eighteen. And that and what we that have the temple of God with our for Ye are the temple of the living God, as God has said, I will, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I'll be their God and they shall be my people. He'll live within you, he'll walk with you, he'll direct you every path. One thing we gotta do is just Listen and obey him, and he leads to all truth and righteousness. But in verse 17, he's talking about us being, we have to keep ourselves holy and acceptable to him because he won't go into an unclean temple. We have to be, we have to be holy as He is. Verse eighteen, and we be as father unto, I will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters. Said, so, only way we can be a son and daughter unto. The Lord is we gotta be born of the Spirit. And we gotta be born again. <coughs> Just that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior of your life. I know this is a quick lesson. Bless you, John. But that's what the Lord gave me.